gen 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 generated fill from Adobe Photoshop Beta. So I'll be showing you the guide to making this kind of effect and showing you the ropes on how to probably utilize it. Let's roll with it. So to start things off, you want to import your folders to a timeline and export it as a PNG folder. When you go to export, you want to export it as a 10 FPS PNG folder because it will quite literally reduce the number of clips that you have it instead if you chose to have it as a 24 FPS uh, PNG folder. All right, once you're in Photoshop, this is the part that gets a little bit more complicated, but it's easy once you get started. Let's just drag them all and put them directly into Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do is just go on the first clip and make any kind of selection. So in this case, I think we'll just like highlight like my girlfriend's clothing and my friend's clothing. So we'll have a huge moment of her changing clothes really quickly and have my friend change clothes as just as rapidly as she did. Once you've selected something, all you have to do is make selection, choose the radius to zero and just generate a fill. You will, sometimes you will get some really interesting results, just like sometimes you might get something quite bad. <laughs> this is the part where you sort of have to make a choice between which pictures makes more sense, which ones have more constructive images, which ones have less disfigured hands, because somehow this app always seems to disfigure the hands, like the AI is just, just doesn't seem to know how to make proper hands. So try to choose the ones that have like good hands and good like postures. The next thing you want to do is just Control E to merge it, Control S to save it, and Control W. This is it. This is literally the method. By doing so, you will close the first clip and it will move you to the second clip. And you want to do this trick over and over and over and over until you've done the full clip itself. Once you're done with this, you will have a pile of images that are all fully modified. And then you could either import it directly back to Premiere Pro or you could use one tool right now that's on the market that's really, really good at making things look more fluid, which is called Topaz, <laughs> Topaz AI Video. So once you're on Topaz with your video, uh, all you have to do is export it to 10 FPS uh, to keep this frame rate as it was and to output it with 24 FPS. And once you're done, you will have this result. I hope you guys thought this guide was useful. Please make sure to leave a comment about this kind of trick. What, how did you use it? You guys can link me your Instagram in the DMs. I'm always down to checking how you guys utilize this by with your reels and let's connect. I will see you guys for another video. Peace out.